Hello there, I'm Tiger Snark and this is Hogwarts Legacy Episode 2. Looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. Instead, I immediately decide to explore the bedrooms and take way too long doing so. I knocked over some books and then as I walked down the stairs, I thought, hmm, do they respawn? Your complexion. What Whatever the fuck? it is, they'll all want to know your secrets. Oh. Cool. Oh. That's terrifying. Why is it... That's... What the... That's not how mirrors work. That's definitely not how mirrors work. <laughs> okay. So that was a nice little surprise, if not slightly terrifying. I then went and continued exploring way too much, taking way too much time, and eventually made my way to the common room. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. It's not a complicated spell. I should be able to do it non-verbally. Why is this not working? Ugh! Oh, hello there. Welcome to Gryffindor. I'm Cressida. Pleasure to meet you, Cressida. Splendidly theatrical arrival to the sorting ceremony last evening. Made it in by the skin of your teeth. Is it true that you're Professor Fig's protege? I'm honestly very tempted to just play keyboard or mask because this remote keeps on randomly disconnecting. And yep, that's fine. Okay, here we go. Wow, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. I can point at things with a reliable keyboard and mouse instead of using a PlayStation 4 controller that keeps on disconnecting. Uh, sorry, what was the question? Uh... I'm not sure I'd say that, but I did a study with him a little before we arrived. Blast! I was hoping he might have given you some advice on non-verbal casting. Is that what you were trying to do just there? Oh, yes. Having a spot of trouble. I've mastered the charm using its incantation, but this is proving a bit trickier. A little more practice ought to do it. I practiced all summer. I can cast spells more complicated than this one without speaking. What's so difficult about this one? I'm just going to keep at it. That sounds incredibly sarcastic. Um, I'm having a bit of trouble deciding what to respond here because I'm not sure how to play this character yet. Do most students know how to cast non-verbally? Not at all. Hogwarts doesn't teach non-verbal casting until the sixth year, and even then, many struggle with it. I'm simply trying to get ahead of the game. I'm actually very curious as to whether or not I'm going to be going through more than one year. I mean, I assume I'm going to be going through all of the years, but eh. we'll see. Uh, uh, Is it really that difficult to cast them verbally? Oh, yes. And if you don't get it just right, the results can be, shall we say, awkward. Once, I tried to cast Depulso non-verbally on a goblet in the Great Hall and ended up launching Professor Sharp's Yorkshire pudding into his face. He was not happy. <laughs> Expedited eating. Well, good luck with it. It was nice to meet you, Cressida. You as well. Enjoy your first day. Uh... It was a bit of an FPS drop there, but 
still seems to be hovering around the 75 FPS more. Very decent. Like, I, it feels like there's a little bit of screen tearing. But it's tiny. I don't know any of my keys anymore! Uh, Revelio? That actually makes sense. What's T? I don't know. V? Okay, that's... Uh... Gryffindor's common room isn't that girl thinks she can so bad, but I mean, there's... Jeez, there's like so much... Like, uh... Red. Shame you weren't born with and wings, I'm sure I don't know, I can't <laughs> really put it into words. I don't know, it just seems very... I'm gonna say it. It's tacky, isn't it? I hope a professor catches yeah, Raven's Claw is pretty cool. I really like my favorite is Slytherin's, but Raven Claws is pretty cool too. Shame you weren't born with I mean, even Hufflepuff I'm looks sure pretty good. <laughs> it makes sense that there's so much like green and everything. This just honestly feels tacky as hell. It took me a little bit to get to the word, but yeah. There's just Don't why are you busy time, walking on a carpet oh, when there's way too many carpets and yet everything sounds like you're on hardwood? And also, there's so many different types of carpet. Is this really how people decorate? Oh. I hope a professor oh. catches it this time. <laughs> Sorry, I'm busy criticizing my common room. You are stoned. I really like how you can interact with so many different things in the environment. You'll like it, trust me. No, no, no. So many names to provide every day. None of them is ever for me. I'm sure you don't want to try it? Brewed it myself. Hello, you're the new fifth year. Pleased to meet you. I'm Gareth Weasley. Heard about your travels here. Can't believe it. Glad you and Fig are all right. Is it true that someone from the Ministry was with you in the carriage? Oh, uh, yes. A friend of Professor Fig's. Oh, didn't mean to pry. Nasty business, dragons. Again, very glad you're here. Thank you, Gareth. So am I. Are you related to Professor Weasley? I am. She's my aunt. Does having your aunt here make things difficult? More than you'd think. Most people assume I can't get into trouble or be given detention. But they're wrong. Aunt Matilda tends to treat me as if I'm a first year. Keeps too close an eye on me. It's all a bit suffocating, to be honest. Still, she means well. And she's an incredibly powerful witch. She'll have your back. Are you having butter beer for breakfast? Hmm? Oh no. I've been perfecting a recipe I came up with over the summer. I'm almost there. Based on some reactions, it may need a bit more work. Hmm. Seems you enjoy brewing. Might I assume that you've a talent for potions of all sorts? Well, as I see it, there's little difference, fundamentally, between brewing a modification to butterbeer and a Wiganweld potion. Though, I'm not certain Professor Sharp would make the connection. He doesn't appreciate my, uh, creativity as much as you might think. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, it was nice meeting you, Gareth, and thank you for the insights on your aunt. Pleasure to meet you as well. Good luck today. Wasn't much insights, were there? Unless I just 
missed something? Once my sister sent me a howler simply because oh, I oh, oh, oh. Me. Okay. <laughs> oh, that was magical. <laughs> okay. And then after that magical experience, I got completely distracted and wandered around exploring and talking to my Discord server before finally getting back to the common room and completing the taunts. I'm sure you use them. <laughs> How do I? I'm pressing F. Oh, there. Oh. <laughs> Why is everyone so highly strung? It's perfectly safe. <laughs> well, hello. Don't mind me. I find it helpful to change my point of view now and again. Put things in perspective. Once I made it to the top of Gryffindor Tower from the outside without a broom. Goodness. <laughs> I'm Nelly, by the way. Nelly Ogspire. I've heard rumors about what happened to you on your way to Hogwarts. Is it true about the dragon? I've forgotten everyone else's name, by the way. I know one of them's a Weasley. That's that's as best I can do. Um, I have got a terrible memory. Yes, our carriage was attacked by a dragon. Crikey! I can't believe it. How thrilling! And also terrifying. Anyway, you've certainly brought some much-needed excitement to Gryffindor. And Hogwarts, for that matter. I take it you're not afraid of heights? Hmm, it's something I've always done, since I was little. My mother once found me on the roof when I was five. Still has no idea how I got there. But with all the strange hallways and rooms in the castle and everything lurking in and outside the grounds, you don't need to scale a tower to see something incredible here. I'd imagine most students have never seen a dragon. Have you? Goodness, no. And I'd never heard of one attacking a carriage like that. Not enough meat in a carriage, I'd think. What exactly are the rumors about my journey to Hogwarts? Uh, that you escaped a dragon attack? <laughs> Isn't that enough? Most of us arrive via train or boat. Not having just escaped the jaws of a dragon. Of course it's got people talking. Word travels fast at Hogwarts. That's weird. I thought they just hired a dragon for everyone. I'm sure I'll be seeing you around, either in our common room or when you scale your next tower. <laughs> you never know. Bye for now. Although thinking about it, right, if they you did do know. that, Professor Weasley's waiting. they'd spend a fortune on carriages. Wait, no, they're magical. They can just use Repero. No fucking money you need it. seems very incon... I, d I don't... Do I need to be crawling through there? Stand up. Do I really need to be crawling that much? I don't know. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the Headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Here you are. They've devised something extraordinary to ensure my success. They've given me the answers to all the test questions. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. 
It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. So I know why I was crouching down so much. It's because somehow they've interpreted my arachnophobia into this game. And I know that that low-hanging wall over there, like the all it's stony and stuff like that, there's going to be fucking spiders in there. For sure. educate yourself about wizarding lore. Don't want that shit in my hair. Why is it always spider? I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. I'm sure. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. Do keep up. What are you talking about? I wasn't slacking behind at all. Ah. The guide appears to have some information for you about that. Simply cast Revelio on it, and we'll see what the guide says. Revelio. Okay. I wonder what he... what the word he said was. I'm guessing it was a spell, but yeah. Uh, your progress was there. Okay, where does it appear? Top left, I guess. Top, top right. Uh, I'm going to acquire experience point. Alright. Mm hmm. Okay. One percent. Uh. Making your first mind later. Time catch Okay, eventually. Yes. Okay. 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 Mm hmm. Okay. Seems like there's quite a bit of stuff. Mm. Clever, isn't it? <laughs> Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that, inside and outside of the castle. I wasn't saying anything. No time to waste. You've classes to attend. What about this? Can I... Ooh. Thank you. I don't know what that was. It sounded like a... Got a bunch of liquid or something. Ah, good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use blue flames to get around a bit quicker. Oh. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Okay. Um. Mm hmm. Mm. And here we are, quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. Okay. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive, our King's Cross Station, so to speak. I bet garlic. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Uh, Charms class. What will I learn in Charms class? Charms. Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? 
Defense against the dark arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of defense against the dark arts is required for those who aspire to become auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. Mm. Do I back him up or do I just say like, yeah, totally. We went to this place, did the things, all very secret, but I'm telling you anyway. Would that speak? Hmm. Hmm. We did take a bit of a detour on the way here. Ended up exploring some ruins, and I shouldn't say more. Exploring ruins? Well, I presume Professor Fig has his reasons for keeping the details to himself for now. Oh, speak right to the devil. Out. Professor Fig. He heard it. Your ears must have been burning. Oh. Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, You're Professor. On me. Got it. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. I was honestly considering just, like, covering for him, and I really should have done that. Oh well, next time. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today, before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you and Professor Weasley talking about exploring ruins? No! <laughs> she caught me off guard. I didn't tell her anything else about our travels here. I will say, I think she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look.
Okay. My cursor's gone. What the fuck? Weird. Uh, space to go to you. Oh, it's because I think they were there. And yet it still works. Wait, no, it doesn't. Oh, yeah, it still works. That's weird. So they just hide the cursor, but you can still interact with the. There you go, see? I wonder if that's a bug or a feature. Uh, some question. Oh, okay. mm. Mm. okay, so they're busy gating thing thing. They're busy gating things through spells and levels. Oh shit! Which one do I go to first? Oh, right. -click. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, Focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. What are you trying to think? Oh. Well, one time they did. Mind you, it's worth doing this And I did ask them. Oh. I can't help you, I never. Get your book out. Uh, here. Okay. Uh, this one over here. Change appearance. Ah. So this is what you get for linking your account to the Wizarding World. It looks pretty cool. Look at that. It's like pretty cool. Nice. this from pre-ordering the deluxe edition. Look how cool that shit is. Nice. I like the sleeves. I mean, the whole thing's pretty cool. Traditional school. I think, I don't know. Looks cool and all, but a bit much, don't you think? Like, if I'm when I'm playing Slytherin, I'll totally wear this. But, uh, and the Gryffindor one, it just kind of make I don't know, it's a bit, it's a bit too much. It looks very cool. I think it's cool, but I don't know. I'm gonna just rather use this and stand out enough already as it is, I suppose. Um, in the future, when I unlock more cosmetics, I'll most likely change it, but for now, I'll leave it as it. Yeah, wait, I'm going to be following the map now. Through here, F. Okay. Oh, it's all foggy. Oh, Revelio. Like the exploration stuff. Oh, holy shit. I wish I had something to boast about. There is just so much to explore. Oh. Off clue. on another adventure, are we? Nope, I'm just going through here. <laughs> Running into walls. Revelio. This seems like something I should just be shooting at. Nope. <laughs> oh. Revelio. 
Hey, it should be like right up against it. And Orphan Wizard. Patronus. Never oh. forget what that Ufflepuff girl said in 1421. What lovely stone. Oh, that's class, that is. Hmm. That young'un's now a teacher herself. It's a wonder she's not gobbled up by her own fanged geranium. Yeah, a very talkative gargoyle. Why do you need so many globes? A little creepy, but very cool. Is there a rebellion? Rebellion. Thing? No. Okay. First class. Stupid. Is that all you've got? Bombard! Rebuso! Professor Hackett! Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the Great Poacher Raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in Eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. True. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso? A levitation charm? Levioso! A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now. Let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. Okay. Uh, oh, it's first time I'm doing this one. Okay, it's space now. Uh, oh. Levioso. Now, let's try something a little larger. Let us begin with a basic cast. See how the dummy deflected your cast. This Not time, a dummy, is cast it? Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprised opponent is a weak opponent, as Master Pruitt so artfully helped me demonstrate earlier. Levioso! So, now, the basic cast. Well done! Very good. But the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelists, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. Oh, is it right click for Protego? I haven't played with the uh, mask yet. Levioso. This should be easy. Is it right click? Levioso. Fuck, what's Protego? I can't. I really should have just started with mouse and keyboard. 
And two. <laughs> what are you doing up there? You're good, Protego. Help us take it. Let me open. I know. Rather good at this, aren't you? I know. That was close. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> you look way too smug. I put okay. you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Gryffindor. Thank nice. you, Professor Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. Real close. Nearly failed because of the All fact that right. I didn't check the That's controls first. That's for one day. Class is dismissed. Oh. Huh. Always thought Levioso was for first years. Not anymore. Nice work. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallow, by the way. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. I've dueled enough. Consider yourself lucky I held back. What the hell? Fair enough. You owe me an honest duel That's... when you aren't. You Not know, what I was intending at you all. You might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Oh. Uh -huh. Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club, or sneaking into the restricted section of the library. You just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure this chatting. Professor with you. just sitting. I'm sure, I'll see you soon. I mean, sta Perhaps standing like right unsanctioned. there. Unsanctioned. We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance, if you're interested. Till next time. Uh, probably didn't hear anything. Oh, I'm not much for dueling. I prefer to keep things friendly. Yeah, what were you looking at? Mm, cool. Is that, yeah, busy looking at. Whoa, more magical things happening. They're not glitches, they're not bugs. It's magic. And with that, we'll end episode two. If you like the video, please leave a like and subscribe. Thank you. See you next time. If you know the right spells, it's dark wizards that'll fear you, not the other way around. You drilled Sebastian. He's strong competition. Well done. <laughs>